Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a routine Hikamas vacation by divide and Kankaya technique. The patient is under topical anesthesia. You can notice that I am not using any forceps. I am using a cotton tipped Johnson bar to stabilize the eyeball. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision. Now I want to stain the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens underneath this air bubble. If we use air bubble, the staining is immediate and we need very little amount of dye and the dye doesn't touch the corneal endothelium. The dye is washed out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is being injected to fill up the anterior chamber and then one more side port one more paracentesis is made on the left side of the main incision and now capsular axis I incise the capsule with a 26 case band needle raise a nice big flap hold this capsular flap with the uterine forceps go anticlockwise remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I complete a continuous curvilinear capsular axis and now hydro dissection BSS has been taken in a 2 cc syringe attached to a 27 gauge cannula the fluid is passed underneath the anterior capsular rim at several points the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is mobilized and we could see that it rotated very nicely Visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece the machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 and I am in FECO 1 mode where the power is 60% flow rate is 25 and vacuum is 60 millimeter of mercury and I am making the trench starting just in front of the main incision and going right through the middle of the cataract towards the opposite equator and I don't make the trench very wide at this time just it is about one tip width that is about 2.8 millimeter and now this cataract is quite hard it is say about grade 3 plus or grade 4 and making the trench making almost a plus sign and now this central portion must be deepened we must remember the contour of the lens it is a biconvex structure and the convexity of the posterior surface is much more than that of the anterior surface and after going to sufficient depth if we observe red glow at the floor of the groups we can try dividing the nucleus with the tip of the FECO handpiece and the chopper and we can divide the nucleus into four pieces like this now we can elevate on piece like this and emulsify it now I hold the second piece I'm starting from the apex of each fragment and emulsifying it. I 
we can see that in this case there is hardly any cortex everything has been incorporated in the nuclear mass or my hydro oils of that kind that everything is in the nuclear mass this is the last portion of the nucleus I've removed the chopper for better stability of the anterior chamber there was no surge and we see that there is no cortex in this case the posterior capsule is clean so inject viscoelastic substance and implant this lens yes this is a foldable intraocular lens it has been placed in the bag and now we have to remove the viscoelastic substance that has been used for implantation of intraocular lens thoroughly irrigate the anterior chamber and then push the lens go behind the lens and irrigate the capsula bag very nicely now you use the irrigation and aspiration together and thus you can very nicely clean the viscoelastic substance this is a minimally edited video and now the side ports are hydrated so that these step wounds become watertight and now always I do this final lavage of the anterior chamber whatever I use I wash it out at the end and this is my routine practice and my patients are very happy they have a very quiet anterior chamber next day the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with great skills